My name is David Weiler. I came in uh, the Tonga 11 group in November 1973. We were a group of approximately 36 volunteers. Uh, when we arrived here, we all thought we were going to be teaching, uh, but there were four. Uh, they didn't have enough teaching positions available, so they offered two positions in Hapai in cooperative development. And so they asked anybody in our group if anybody wanted to go to Hapai and work in cooperatives. And I chose to do that. I figured I'd come this far away from the States and I also see what Tonga is really like. So I went to Hapai and spent the first two years in Hapai. And we were the, actually the very first two cooperative development officers for the Tonga government. And uh, we were primarily with local fishermen and handicraft uh, women. Uh, so it was very, very lucky. And then <clears throat> because of that positive experience, we, I extended for a third year and went to Bahau. Uh, the, the plan was for me to work with the Ministry of Education and Works. Uh, at that time, there were no government primary schools in the country. And, I'm, and they were just, but they had funding to start building primary schools, so they needed a someone to sort of liaise between the two ministries. Education, where to build the school and works where to, to build it. Right? Score offered me a position as a volunteer leader. Uh, at that time, there were approximately 60 volunteers uh, in Tonga and they only had two staff, two senior staff. And so I worked with uh, the, the associate director looking after all the technical volunteers while he looked after the education volunteers. So I did that for my final six months. Some of the differences in the uh, Peace Corps, uh, say from now till at that time, I would say the numbers aren't that much different now, uh, but the makeup is different. At that time, the, the, the program was primarily education, but not entirely. We had uh, quite a few, uh, quite a few. We had doctors, we had a couple doctors. We had some uh, civil engineers working with Ministry of Works. We had. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Help people. There were uh, people working in uh, mosquito lab, doing filariasis research. Uh, so we had a few technical uh, component volunteer assignments at that time. I think it's the toughest job you'll ever like, eh? you ever love. Eh? <laughs> uh, and the reason I mention that is because when I went to Hawaii, I had to build my own house. It took me seven, eight months to build my own house, and I didn't know a left-handed hammer from a right-handed hammer. But it was done, and it you know made me mix in with the community, get things done. Uh, so it was a, a real a real positive learning experience, eh? <clears throat> and no pressure. For me, it was communication skills, uh, you know, dealing with people, different levels, you know, when I, <clears throat> I mean, not only that, but the cooperative development, working with women's groups and mm -hmm. uh, men's fishing group, <clears throat> and then the language uh, issue as well, and then working with a Japanese volunteer that didn't speak English, so it was a real interesting <clears throat> time of communication with it. And I'm not a national language learner, but I found that I could make enough mistakes to survive. But also, just on interpersonal skills, uh, interpersonal relationship skills, uh, when you do speak the same language, but getting along with uh, village people, getting along with uh, colleagues in your office, and then uh, getting along with, of course, government officials. You know, those things, you don't realize it at the moment, but at the end of the day, you sort of look back and say, no. You know, when you go into a situation like that, when I left Peace Corps, I could go into a situation like that and not feel uncomfortable. You know, you know how to get by. My whole life was changed. The whole direction of my life was changed by Peace Corps. So, I, you know, I'm very grateful and very thankful that I was able to have that experience. Uh, <clears throat> and and it, it obviously, it speaks for itself. It's persevered for nearly 60 years now. Uh, and I hope it goes another 60 years. It's the best. Uh, it's the best graduate school we have for learning about what how the world, what happens in the world, eh? Uh, so you don't, uh, you know, it, it's a really good investment on our part. <clears throat>